the reason for the, the wig is not a vanity thing, it's a strength thing. Today is Monday. My first day of chemotherapy is on Thursday. On Wednesday is my appointment to have my hair cut. My hair hasn't been short since I was probably 13 and I am not looking forward to it. But like I always tell my patients, it's better to get used to your new image in stages and it's better if you have some shorter strands of hair to deal with when it starts falling off. So let's see how it goes. Um, taking one last look at my hair the way it is because tomorrow I'm having it cut really short before um, starting the chemotherapy. Better to cut it short to make the adaptation about the process go in stages. And it's going to be great in the future, but it's never going to be exactly the same. So. I'm saying goodbye to this hair. Okay, so here I am getting ready for chemo. Yesterday I had my hair cut, so it's a tr yeah, easier transition to the new image and it's easier to handle when, starts, when it starts falling off. Uh, my hairdresser will cut it shorter next week if I feel ready for it or if I feel a need for it. And it's not that bad. It's an playing with a new image. It's actually felt liberating as the layers and chunks of hair were falling from my own wheel and not because of something out of my control. And it felt like starting a new life. Well, it has been two weeks since my hair cut and I got so used to it, I actually like it. It got lots of compliments from my friends. My husband loved it. Even my little girl with special needs declared, it's cool. Even if 10 minutes later she came back and said, now change it back. Um, but now is the moment to say goodbye to another level of attachment because it started shedding a little bit. It's not much, but from time to time, you see I find these little loose hairs that I pull out and come out very easily. They are not still enough to overwhelm my pillow or my shower drain, but that combined to a sensitivity in the back of my head and my scalp announces that the big shedding is coming soon. So I'm on my way to the lady who has been helping me with the wig, Ida, and she's offered to cut it even shorter to help with the transition. And I may do that today to make it easier to handle as it finishes coming off. I, I'm still not ready to shave it, mostly because the coming out is still slow and I'm trying to wait until the last minute to shave it so I don't get sick of the wigs too soon. Well and here is the new haircut, a little uneven and a little messy right now. Um, not very fond of it which is good because that means I will not get attached to it and it won't mind it when it falls. I can tell the shedding is speeding up my scalp calmed down for a day or two and now it's back burning sensitive my husband tried to caress my hair the other day and i was ah, very sensitive and every time i run my hands through my hair i get a bunch of hair that is already coming out so i'm not doing it very often i'm letting it go on its own the longer i can be in public without a wig at least with my kids the better. Um, I am definitely wearing the week to work now because my patients are asking me too many questions. Um, but here I still have energy to walk on the beach. That's good. In theory, my blood was kind of low and I'm going to be getting IV iron in my next treatment. But at least it's not low enough to stop me from doing the things I enjoy which I think is the key to go through the treatment, making sure you remind yourself 
what are the reasons you have to be alive and enjoying the things that make your heart sing. Well, I was joking to a group of friends that I better don't try to rob a bank or commit a crime right now because I am leaving DNA evidence wherever I go. I just do this, whatever I touch, there's a bunch of them coming off now. Now is the moment of the truth. This is no rehearsal anymore. Uh, it's coming out now. Well, I'm here with Ida. We are about to shave my hair. It, it is, it is, has been falling and falling and you can start seeing some of the scalp underneath and you just pull it out and comes out. So, this is it. Here goes. It actually feels good. It's so itchy that 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 thing feels good going over my scalp right now, like a little massage. Now I'm going to need to put some block on my head. to use like when you moisturize your face is to go ahead and moisturize your scalp too. Uh, well my moisturizer has glycolic acid so I won't try no. to put it on the head. <laughs> uh, actually I thought I was going to look like an alien with a shiny completely shiny head but no I have still some stubble there so for a few weeks <laughs> then the stubble will fall. Actually, your head is nice and round. Yeah. Well, this is it. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And here I am. Um, something that really works so far is makeup. <laughs> Maybe it's a Hispanic woman thing but when I was seeing myself in the other video with my gray face and my white lips i i was feeling sicker and more ill and by putting up some makeup putting on some makeup putting on the wig creating faking some eyebrows even if i am not glowing and i am not at my best but i feel less ill and i can see myself more as a normal person This is a new look. Uh, the wig that I wear to go to work is my hair after I go to the hair salon, but my natural hair is curly and, and darker. And it, after a week wear, wearing the wig that represents my perfect hair, I was already missing my natural curly hair. So I celebrating and consoling as consolation prize for having shaved in the head, I went ahead to the beauty supply and got myself a curly, a curly wig. So we're going to be showing a way to tie a scarf, go ahead, and a, new, a trick so you can have some hair showing under your headpiece. This is just like a bangs or a, is it like a quarter of a wig? Yeah, it's just uh, when I repair wigs, I'll keep pieces that I'm not going to use that I know I can use for bangs. Now we put the turban on upside down so the knot is in the back. Mm -hmm. Plus it gives it a little height. And then we're going to take, do the scarf so you have a short side and a long side and then put it on 
and then what you're going to do is crisscross it in the back. This is your long side now, and this is the short side. And then bring the long side up. So we're covering the turban. And then just tighten the knot. And then tuck it in. I see, so the long side has to travel farther. Right. That's why you want to do the long side over here because you're going to crisscross it. Mm -hmm. and people always get the big square scarves, but this is the kind of scarf you need because it covers the head and there's no extra. Maybe if there's too much hair, just tuck it back in. Kind of like just little wispy things hanging out. I like it. It's uh, fancier than a, a turban. I like it. And I definitely like this because it, it, it doesn't look so yeah. naked. When I was uh, advising patients before I went into this journey, I used to think, what's the big deal about losing your hair? You should be proud. You are a survivor. You you are a fighter. You should walk around with your bald head and be proud of it. So I have been surprised of my obsession for wigs and headpieces since this process started. And the truth is that the reason for the, the wig is not a vanity thing. It's a strength thing. The, every time somebody notices something different about my hair even when I cut it short and the patient started asking me questions the pity in their eyes is the problem the little shock in the eyes of the people who have seen me with the head shaven and the pain in their eyes is what's the problem because you are working in a low reserve energy when you're going through this and even in the best case and you have a good attitude and you're telling yourself I'm a fighter, I'm a survivor. We hypnotize each other and the people around me who tell me yes, I admire you, I love your attitude, you're doing great, give me a little notch up and those people who throw me the pitying looks and you can tell through their eyes, they say oh poor you, you, oh poor you, poor little thing, those people cheap abide in my strength. Those are the people I have to stay away from. It, and if you have to have find a silver lining, have fun with it. I have now six different looks. This is one, my straight hair is one, my curly hair is one, my French cut completely different from my, my style is one. I order a blonde wig just for fun. Have fun with it and see it, see it all as a big adventure. Bye.